Welcome to the High Hopes Tiki Bar in lovely Scott and Troy's home. And it's time for another unboxing video. As you can tell, I'm a little bit stuffed up. I've had whatever it is I've had for about a week and a half, so I don't know what it is, but I feel like my head is filled with rubber bands still. So, uh, but anyway, we've got, I've got so many things that so many people have sent me that, uh, I'm going to unbox today. So that's what I'm going to do uh, one at a time, but it's going to be, I have to do it fairly quickly because this thing will, I don't want it to last 10 hours, but but then again, I don't want to be um, rude either. So this package, uh, it comes from Nick and I think he's in, yeah, he's in Canada. And uh, let's see. I don't know why. I lose all the cool things that we you have to open stuff with. And end up with my trusty dagger. Uh, let's hit the road. Hey, poor. Thank you so much for all your great content on YouTube. I hope you find this card useful towards your collection. Yours truly, Nick from Niagara Falls. Slowly I turn. Oh, look. Oh, it's Jane. It's lovely Jane Mansfield. And this is a, it's an artifact of some sort. Property of Panini Pictures. With striking blonde hair, plump lips, and a figure abundant with curves, this pinup girl became one of the most beloved bombshells of the 50s and 60s. This enclosed celebrity-worn material is guaranteed by Panini America. So this is a piece of something Jane Moore. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's pretty cool. So we've got something that actually touched, well, we got, we got a couple of things that actually touched Jane's skin and her Jane's skin touched. But this is cool, Nick, thank you. I, I will uh, look further into this, but it's really a nice little pres presented thing. And, um, and it will go very well in our collection. So thank you very much. All right, next one. This one uh, is from our friends, Ann and Rob in Britain, in Nuneaton, and who always send us wonderful things. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, look, it's a tea towel. It is, it is a Jubilee tea towel. Oh, is this cool? this it's er it's er two er two the platinum jubilee very nice tea towels I, we love tea towels the the one these are for mostly for drying dishes even though it's the most <laughs> unabsorbent fabric <laughs> known to man which is sort of funny but no it's very cool royal uh we love royal stuff i still have my uh silver uh jubilee silver 50 no it's golden I still have my golden jubilee uh, tea towel, which is ta tattered. So I love this. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. More things. Oh look, Jaffa cakes. I oh, know. What are they? Wagon? Oh, wing. We like these. Look at orange. That's very you. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> They're very kind to us, and the and they uh, they always send us. Oh, look at this. It's another, it's a, oh, this is the thingy for the tea towel. This is what it came, uh, what it came wrapped in. Shepherd's Pie Mix, we love. We love Shepherd's Pie Mix. <laughs> Cabarets, twirls, a bounty bar, <laughs> bounty bar, lion bar, lion bar, very, mm. I don't know what we like. Oh, do you know what this is? Actually, I bought this and they wanted like an extortionate amount of money to send it here. And I had it sent to Ann and Rob and they, they sent it, um, be careful what I'm doing here. This is a memorial program for the funeral of an actor called, I know, God, it's like they, it's like they're breaking into a bank. Here, I'm gonna eat one of these while you're <laughs> dealing with that. <laughs> you're not. Here we go. In memory of Denholm Elliott, CBE. Denholm Elliott, the actor, 
I know him most from Raiders of the Lost Ark, but he's been in a billion things. St. James's Park, Park Church in Piccadilly. So, uh, I didn't. So, very cool, thank you. I'm trying, I think these are, all right. Next up. This one comes from someone named Kay. Kay Palmer. This may be an eBay. Oh, no, yeah, I think, this is, I think these are, wait, what is this? Come in here. Of Scott and Troy. A few vintage matches. Thought you may uh, have been to these places before. Love the videos. Just wanted to say hello. Take care, y'all. It's Ken Palmer. So, let's... Oh, it's a, a little flag. A little snowman made magnet. And some matches of... What's up? The Brown Derby. Cool. And the Hacienda. Where was that? Hacienda. Oh, Vegas. In Vegas. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ken. You're very kind. We like this kind of stuff. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. This uh, this showed up from my friend Phil, in, also in Britain. And uh, in W, I think he said W12. That's where he lives. It's a book. So it says on the thingy. Ooh. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my God, it's Diana. The people's response to the death of Diana. Oh my God. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> Dear Scott, I found this good old boy lost in a London charity shop. He says he's a friend of yours. I think, and perhaps you can rehome him. Uh, I think you might be having a seizure. Maybe his hearing aid is too loud or he's choking on a chicken bone. What are you talking about? Is there something in here that I'm not seeing? Oh. Oh, look, it's the Colonel. Oh, look. He is choking on a chicken bone and having a seizure. Oh, how fun is that? Oh, I don't own any Walton swag, so I hope this 72 Partridge Family bag will suffice. Yes, it will. It'll be fine. <laughs> also enclosed the safety reminder of all, of all, to all wannabe princesses. Always wear a seatbelt and don't go joyriding. I can't say that. Get over to Bl Blighty soon. The QE2 is sinking fast. <laughs> Aw. Thank you very much, Phil. This is interesting. I, um... I wonder if this. I wonder if this goes to charity. All the funerals. See, I, was, I, I practically took that same picture. That was an interesting time, no doubt about it. Thank you, Phil. Thank you very much. I hope you liked uh, the message I sent you on Cameo. Phil bought, uh, booked me for a Cameo this week, and I read from a vulgar book. So this is from uh, Lark. This has Lark on it. Oh, I bought this, actually. Because we're talking about um, doing a podcast on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, one of my favorite movies of all time. My, uh, my guilty pleasure. And so I got this for that reason. Look at it. It's our neighbor, Suzanne Summers. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. <laughs> Every time we see a plane go over the, over the sky, we're like, there she is. <laughs> cool. God, remember Screaming Yellow Zonkers? I do. That was nasty. I like Fiddle Faddle. I think you could still buy that, but the Screaming Yellow Zonkers were not good. This is cool. All right. That'll be, uh, that'll be good for the, for the podcast. All right. Oh, this one I just wanted to show you. Um, I got from... Ruth Buzzy, and she sent us nice things for Scott and Tony. <laughs> <That's me. laughs> yeah. Love Ruth Buzzy, love Gladys. That was the character, in case you never knew. For Scott, to Tony, and this, which is what I sent her, a hairnet. 
a Ruth Buzzy autographed hairnet like the one that Gladys wears. So that's what I that's what I really wanted her to sign. Oh, she did sign. You know what? I asked her to sign this eight track for us, you know? And she signed like the back of it. Like the shitty back of it, you know? I mean <laughs> it's like, come on, you know, now you go, who wants to see that? This one. Anyway. We love Ruth. Mm. And uh, I don't anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> God bless Ruth. Look at her. She's, it's Sinatra and Dean Martin. I didn't even see them. If you want to laugh, though, that my favorite skit of hers is sitting at the piano when she does all that laughing to the music. That that kills me. <laughs> I, that always makes me smile. So thanks, Ruth. Uh, I don't know who this is from, but there'll probably be a note, I'm assuming. Butterflies are free. Oh my gosh, that's is that uh, that's an old old program. Oh, it's autographed. Mm. I enjoy your work, Valerie. I enjoy your work on YouTube, and this give you give you this a good home. This is a autograph of Kier Dulia after the show one night. I saw him. Hope he's mostly known for 2001 Space Odyssey. He's very patient and signed for everyone. This was back in 1970 when I was 15. I remember I didn't really like this play very much. Oh, well. I know the play and Cure. This is, I don't know him, but if he's 2001 Space Odyssey, we have to know who he is. Mm -hmm. I think you have that. Don't you have that Blu-ray? Mm -hmm. We'll have to look at that. Is that Tony Tennille? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like her, doesn't it? Kier Dol Dolia, I think that's how you say his name. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't see any pictures of mm -hmm. Kier. Maybe, maybe he's become Lady Miss Kier. De Groovy. Okay, well, I'll, I'll I'll find a picture of him and put it in here because I'm curious now too. But uh, thank you, Valerie. Thank you very much. That's very cool. And I will. You have found it. will have a good home with us. This is from Elisa Jordan. L.A. Woman Tours. Elisa Jordan. <laughs> cool. It's the Dolly Cake Mix, which I have Ooh. been looking for. Elisa was just in Dollywood. Totally. Very jealous of her, but um, this is, she told me that this was available, and I have not seen it. I've been looking, and look at that Dolly's coconut cake, Dolly's banana cake. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Elisa. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at it's an ornament, the coat of many colors ornament. Oh, is that nice? Oh, is that cute? Oh, look. oh, oh, it's substantial too. <laughs> Oh, it's really, it's really weighty. This is really cool. Wow, thank you. Presents from Dollywood. Look at that, Dolly's cake. And uh, we can bake Dolly and hang her. We can bake her and hang her. <laughs> this is so cool. No, it's so nice. Thank you, Elisa. Uh, very, very, very nice of you. Thank you. And um, yeah, got to go to Dollywood. Well, we did, so I'm, I'm a little jealous because we, 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 would, we would definitely be season pass holders if we were if we lived anywhere near Tennessee. But we love Tennessee. We'll go back. We loved it. Now, this is from my friend Fred, who has a shop. And uh, tell mom... And it arrived a little damaged. Shirts for you and Troy. I didn't give you a 2X because I think you're fat. <laughs> I was afraid an XL would be a belly shirt because you are tall. If it's a tent on you, just wash and hop to shrink it a little. All right. 
back and there's another note on there. Ooh, look. Mom said no. That's Fred's shop. It's really cool stuff, vintage stuff. And um, and look at that magnets. Mom said no. <laughs> and the shirts are very cool. Look at that. Mom said no shirts. Nice. Tie dye and everything. And is this the fat lady's size? Yeah, this is the 2XL. So this is this one is um, Alton, Illinois. That's that's Robert Wadlow, isn't it? Yeah, Alton. Alton, Illinois. That's where Robert Wadlow's from. I, I, Jordan and I were there. I didn't even know. It didn't even dawn on me that we could uh, we could have popped in on you. Yeah, Jordan and I were there last year. I haven't done my Robert Wadlow video yet. But, uh... Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Great colors, too. Thank you, Fred. And uh, there's another... Didn't know if you had any... Bruce memorabilia. So I thought you'd like a letter. I have a huge. Oh, that's right. He, uh, Bruce Davidson, Davis, uh, Bruce Davis, the Manson guy. He was working with Bruce on a possible, I think, a uh, a possible documentary. But this is from uh, from yeah, Bruce Davis, who is uh, in in prison for life for his involvement with Manson. Huh. Well, okay, I'll read that. That's definitely. Thank you, Fred. And what is, what is this? Oh, nice. We like this. Oh, look at that. It's oh, it's a drink. It's like a psychedelic drink cup with a straw. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Cocktails on the patio with this. Yeah, thank you, Fred. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, my God. As you can see, I, it's been a long time. This is from David K. Uh, it's been a long time since I felt uh, well to do one of these things. I still sound like hell. But, uh... California Fruits, Flakes, and Nuts. True Tales of California's Crazies, Crackpots, and Creeps. Oh, so David's the author of these. Okay. Death in California, the bizarre, freakish, and just curious ways people die in the Golden State. I really enjoy your videos and your incredible knowledge about L.A.'s seamy underbelly. And closer are two books that I wrote, Death in California and California's Fruits, Flakes, and Nuts, that I think you'll enjoy. I mostly write about obscure and odd deaths that have occurred in our Golden State. Keep up the good work, David. P.S. I was born in Bay City, Michigan. That's Madonna's territory. Well, thank you, David. I look forward to delving into these fruits, flakes, and nuts. What are you saying? <laughs> Frady Cat, Silent Fall, Larry, Se Larry Seaman, <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. Oh, this is going to be good. Maybe um, Edna Fuller. I know some of these names. C.M. Jones, Sacramento. Well, this would be fun to go through, most definitely. Thank you. And Death in California. Very, ooh, pictures. Ooh, plane crash. Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor after. Search through the debris of a Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor after a civilian-owned F-86 crashed into it. Where the heck did that happen? California. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> 72. Wow, these are good. You're right about these. These are these are obscure ones. That, uh, Richard Bing Bingham. Farrell's Ice Cream Parlor. Freeport Boulevard. Still haven't... Oh, Sacramento. Wow, very interesting. Thank you for these. I think that, uh, yeah, I think that these will come in very handy in my uh, in my research. Thank you, David. Uh, this is from lovely Marlene. Marlene, my Rocky Horror friend, who and she always finds some really cool things. Says us cool things. And Marlene, I got to tell you, remember you sent me the lobster claws? Love the lobster claws. I sent them to Ruth Buzzy. <laughs> when I sent her a letter asking her to sign something, I sent her the lobster claws. <laughs> so rest assured, they went to a good place. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look. 
it's a Colonel Sanders thing. <laughs> what do you call these things? The pop, um, pop icons. You got pop icons? Is that what they call it? Because all those people si line up for that shop all the time. Is that what they're called? Pop icons? That's what it says right I know what I these know. are, and they're very cool. It's very cool. It's the Colonel, too. The Colonel has made appearances twice today. And, you know, I've got my KFC video coming up that I'm going to be doing of all my Kentucky Fried Chicken memorabilia, which is embarrassingly a lot. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, oh, and here's a nice note from Marlene. Hello, Scott. Saw this and thought of you. Hope you're well. Please give my best to Troy. Marlene. Good chicken. Hi, Marlene. Pee-wee. Please. And here's one from Allison. Allison, I know Allison's name. We've, we've corresponded. Ooh, oh, you know we love tabloids. Dear Scott and Troy, I thought you would enjoy some old trash. Thanks so much for everything that you do. Keep it coming, Allison Close. Look at this. Gene Dixon pre predicts Patrick Duffy is forced off Dallas. Worst dressed from terrific to tacky to just plain weird. Dick Smothers. When's the last time Dick Smothers ended up on a top of a tabloid? And Johnny Carson was still alive. Is that Ava Gardner? Yeah. The, the story she refused to tell Kitty Kelly. She talked to Kitty Kelly. That, that Frank would have cut her throat. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That looks like Jackie Kennedy. It's not. But who else would it be? Looks like. Tyne Daly, but... Tyne Daly? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know if that is, but it'll look like her. There's Tina. How oh, my God, Adolfo wigs. Oh, look. Yeah, Adolfo wigs. Adolfo. Petite Caroline. <laughs> Cerise. <laughs> it's Capri. Lady Light. Oh, my God. How much are these? Nineteen ninety nine. They're designer. <sighs> Ike. How beaten and bloody Tina Turner finally got the courage to leave brutal Ike. Mike is just misunderstood. <laughs> oh, look, Burt Reynolds, and I'm going to see him uh, this week, I think, his grave in Hollywood. Jackie Kennedy, two of the men will fight for the affection of Jacqueline Onassis next year. Oh, this is Jean Dixon. So, you know, she's just supposed to be a psychic. Dickie and Jerry, proven presidents. Oh, this is fun. Wow, Sandra Locke. Was still together with Clint Eastwood, Doug Henning, Doug Henning in the tabs, Robert Wagner. Friday, don't miss this very special, Mr. Belvedere doing Alzheimer's. Look at Michael Jackson. Wow. Look at him now. Bent in the hedges. Okay. And then this one. Oh, look at Lucy. We love Lucy's. Ted Knight's secret last wish. So he must have just died. The secret, the nightmare of Joey Heatherton. Is Joey Heatherton the nightmare or did she have one? Ed Asner tells final visit on his old pal. I wonder who that is. Ted Knight. Oh, so Ted Knight vis was visited. Nicholson blasts cruel love rumors about him and Merrill. Jan Michael Vincent. Uh, Merritt cigarettes. I miss cigarette ads, too. Dying secret. He did die suddenly, I remember. I remember trying to go to his house, and uh, it's behind, it was gated. What is saying about Lucy? I can't read upside down. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. That's creepy from upside that down. That looks like Woody Allen. Oh, and it's creepy from right side up, too. <laughs> Marilyn. You never hear about Marilyn anymore. Never. Or her clothes. You never hear about any dresses, do you? <laughs> it's like she fell at the face of the earth. The the love life Rock Hudson hid from the world. Well, there's nothing. Is that Mark uh, thingy? Yeah, I think it's Mark thingy. I talked to him on the phone once. He was friends with my old boss. And I answered the phone and he, that was him. So I got to talk to him. I wonder if he's still alive. So these are very cool. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, you guys have all been very kind, very generous. Oh, God, there's one more. The, the biggest the biggest box of all. <laughs> My gosh. Move everything out. <laughs> now, I do know <laughs> what this is because I was asked. But I can't wait to see it because I've never heard of such a thing before. And... What is it? What is it? 
It's a board game, your favorite. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put this over here for now. Oops, just gotta careful the off my end. Okay. So this says, hey Scott, here's more, more, I'm, I'm not going to say the name because I know what this is. Something for the collection. There's a couple of surprises inside this. Don't throw away that ball of paper. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. Okay. So, all right, Christian, um, we'll do this one first. Hair. It's celebrity hair. Oh, oh, it's a gnome. Oh, look at Oh, it's a t tiptoe through the, it's a tiny Tim. Oh my God. I know. Oh my God, it's so creepy. creepy. Yeah, it's really creepy. I think it's real too. Like from the time. Oh. It's like psychedelic. His eyeballs bulging. Oh it says Scandia House Enterprises, 1965. A true troll. Wow, that's some vintage Tiny Tim business. And this, I can't wait to see this. And there's more stuff in here too, my gosh. Oh good, it's face down. Did you ever think in a million years, there's a Tiny Tim <laughs> board game? A Tiny Tim board game. Oh my God. Oh look, oh what's this? Oh, this is the wedding certificate of Tiny Tim and Miss Sue? <laughs> Look at that. It's their wedding certificate, and this looks like it's real. It is. This is real. This is like the original document of uh, of their wedding. What's this? Stephen, our office represents Miss Sue. I work in the video. We enclose a proposed prenup prenuptial agreement for Tiny Tim. Shut up. Tiny Tim had a prenup? Oh, this is crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I, um, wow. This is going to be interesting to go through. We love, love Tiny Tim stuff. And you, I mean, Christian was so generous with us before, but this was, this is crazy. So that's their wedding certificate. I mean, it's real. I mean, you can see this is like a notarized document. It's got the real folds in it and everything. Wow. Yeah. The Tiny Tim board game of beautiful things. <gasps> Ooh. Look. Oh my God, he's so creepy. Oh my God. He is so creepy. Take time out from an old song. Miss a turn. Collect one beautiful thing from another player. Share one of your beautiful things with the player who stops here. Hey, want to see my beautiful things? Collect one beautiful thing from another player. Stop for milk and honey, miss a turn. I can't read upside down. What does that say? Can you read it? Share one of your beautiful things with the player who stops here. This tiny hymn game of beautiful things. So the beautiful things, I think, are here. And what is this? A warm smile, good friends, a faithful dog, a clean body. That's funny, considering he was so neurotic. A romantic moon, the wonder of a sunrise. Oh, cute. These are all beautiful things. It's a tiptoe. Oh, they're, oh God, they're little, they come with little satchels. <laughs> little satchels for you, beautiful things. So, oh, these, okay, so these are with the, the die. This must be where the cards are stored. And, um, wow, this is very cool. These are, this is a fascinating thing. And I love it. And I can't, this is so creepy, cool. I mean, you know, we love Tiny Tim for all the right reasons. He was weird and he was special and he was genuine and he was beautiful so the, <laughs> he had beautiful things wow pretty cool and a, and a prenup honest to god how much was he worth <laughs> packaging incorporated wow there's like stockholders line of credit 
this is fascinating. Wow. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, everyone who has sent things our way. There's so many things, so many beautiful things. And uh, and uh, I appreciate it. We both appreciate it, don't we, Troy? Yes, we do. Yeah. And uh, thank you. Gosh, I thanks very much. Um, we'll, we'll take good care of these things. And until next time. Bam. You heard me.